Hey Credit Warriors, Credit Shifu here. Now a few weeks ago, the Chase Freedom Unlimited came out with this 3% cashback offer uh, on spending for the first year, okay? It is limited to $20,000, but basically you get 3% on that spending for your first year. Now originally it was an in-branch only offer. It has now become a full online offer. Uh, I got an email about it the other day from Chase. If you search online Chase Freedom Unlimited, you'll find a very lovely landing page where it shows you here 3%, blah, blah, blah. Um, so yeah, it's available online, available to everyone now for new, obviously new card holders. If you've already got the card, you're out of luck. Um, but it got me thinking about these cards that do first year welcome bonuses, okay? So not just your typical welcome bonus, it's like first three months, spend X amount of money, you get X amount of points, but actual something that continues for the whole year. And there's quite a few of these cards. So we're gonna have a look at them and compare some of them in this video. We will talk about the Freedom Unlimited a little bit later in the video, but we're gonna start with Discover. So the Discover It card, it has a 5% quarterly categories, similar to the Chase Freedom, the regular Freedom, uh, and that's on $1,500 per spending each quarter. Here is this year's calendar. Um, so you can see all the categories there. Now, unlike Chase, which uh, only tells you what the next quarter's category is gonna be on the 15th of the month, uh, in the last month of the previous quarter, uh, Discover actually makes it public for the whole year, uh, you know, the beginning of the year, okay? I wish they did do it every quarter because I get a video out of that announcing the new category each quarter, but sadly, no. Um, but anyway, yeah, so you can see the categories for the entire year already. So potentially there's $600 up for grabs per year with this. So you earn $75 cash back per quarter. So times that by four, it's 300. And then obviously it's cash back match. So it doubles everything you earn in the first year uh, at the end of the year. Um, so that would be $600 at the end of the year. Uh, and then, you know, it goes down to 1% that you earn on uh, all your other purchases, but that's also cash back matched, all right? So let's say you spent $20,000 in your first year. You're gonna get 600 for that $6,000 worth of spending in the categories. And then you get 2% of 14,000, the remaining 14,000, which is 280. Um, so you get $880 cash back in your first year. Discover also has a gas and restaurant card that earns 2% on, uh, well, gas and restaurants in up to $1,000 in spending every quarter. Um, so we can just quickly have a look at that. So each quarter, it's gonna be $20. Um, so we times that by four, we get $80 and then times it by two because it's cash back match. So that's an extra $160 up for grabs. So we can already see it's not gonna be as good a deal uh, as the just regular Discover It card. And then we have the Discover It Business Unlimited, which basically earns 1.5% cash back and it's unlimited. So kind of the same as the Freedom Unlimited. Um, and that also has cash back match, okay? So that will give you 3% for the first year. But the difference is it's unlimited, okay? So even though the Freedom Unlimited is called the Freedom Unlimited, uh, the cash back match is actually limited to, uh, well, the 3% actually. With Freedom, it's not called cash back match, it's 3%. The 3% is limited to $20,000 in spending per year. With the Discover It Business Unlimited, the cash back match is actually completely unlimited. So you could spend 40,000 in a year and get $1,200 uh, cash back, whatever. Um, you know, so it's, yeah, it's definitely a better deal, but it is a business card. So it's obviously not gonna be appropriate for everyone that Chase Freedom Unlimited is a personal card. Right, now we are actually gonna go into detail on the Chase Freedom Unlimited itself. So it's a 3% cash back in the first year. It's limited to $20,000 worth of spending. So that's $600 worth of cash back um, up for grabs in the first year. Uh, and then obviously it'll go down to the 1.5% that it just earns normally. Now, the cool thing about the Chase Freedom Unlimited is that although it's cash back, if you have a Sapphire card, like for example, the Sapphire Preferred or Sapphire Reserve, um, those points can be transferred and become 60,000 UR points, all right? Chase Ultimate Rewards points. So let's say that you were to redeem them for travel through the Chase Sapphire Reserves travel portal, okay? That's 1.5 cents per point in value when redeemed for travel. So it turns that 3% back per dollar into 4.5% back per dollar, okay? And that $600 value of your you know, one year one bonus would actually be $900. So if you redeem for travel after transferring over to the Sapphire Reserve, it actually beats the uh, Discover It card. But if you want pure cash back, the Discover It card wins. And in addition to that, the Discover It card wins on the amount of money you have to spend to get the same amount of value. So for the cash back, 600 versus 600, well, the Freedom Unlimited, you have to spend $20,000 to get 
$600 worth of cash back, but on the Discover It, you only have to spend $6,000 in those quarterly categories um, to get $600 worth of cash back. So if it, we're going to cash back, um, the Discover It definitely wins on the, you know, the amount and the amount of money you have to spend. Next up, we have another card, which is the Alliant Visa Signature Card. Now, I have talked about this card before. It's not a very well-known card, um, but it does give you 3% unlimited cash back for the first year, um, but it beats the other two, the Freedom Unlimited and the uh, uh, Discover It on this, because after the first year, it goes down only to 2.5, okay? So it doesn't go all the way down to 1.5% cash back. It reduces by half a percent, and it stays at 2.5% ca uh, cash back for, you know, however long, uh, however long you have it. So uh, this beats both of them. It does have a $99 annual fee though. It is designed for people who are big spenders on their credit cards. So I'm guessing that the credit score requirements for this card will be a bit higher. Um, but you know, my landlord has it. He used to, he used it to buy a very expensive uh, video camera that he got a lot of cash back on. Um, so I have seen this card work very well for some people. And lastly, we have the card which is going to give us the most dollar value for the year one bonus, okay? And that is none other than the British Airways Visa Signature Card from Chase. Uh, now I should point out there's two other cards that are basically exactly the same as this card, the uh, Air Lingus card and the Iberia card also from Chase. Um, that's because British Airways, Iberia and Air Lingus, they're owned by the same company, International Airlines Group, uh, which owns a few other small airlines as well, and also the Avios point system. So they earn the same type of points and the credit cards are almost exactly the same, a few minor differences, and they all have the same year one bonus. But we'll just look at it on the uh, British Airways card just for clarity, okay? So basically for the first year on the British Airways Visa Signature Card, you're gonna earn 4%, you're gonna earn four British Airways Avios per dollar spent, okay? And that's on up to $30,000 in the first year. So actually up for grabs is 120,000 Avios. That's enough for a return business class ticket to Europe at peak times, okay? At peak times it's 60,000 one way, off peak times it's 50,000 one way, okay? So from New York to London, uh, that would be enough for return business class, peak or off peak. Um, and in addition to that, you could also for 120,000, you could get a one way first class off peak ticket to almost as far as British Airways will fly, a 7,000 mile one way ticket. So probably here in New York to Asia, probably the only place you couldn't go with that would be Australia and New Zealand from the US East Coast, okay? So enough for a very, very long, long haul first class trip. Now the points guy values British Airways Avios at 1.5 cents a piece. Um, that's average value, but it really depends how you redeem them. But if we go with that valuation, um, this sign up bonus of 120,000 Avios will be worth a whopping 1,800 US dollars, okay? So that's a pretty big amount of value. Uh, that is though for $30,000 uh, in spending. However, on some itineraries, especially business and first class, and especially if you're not using them on British Airways, but you're using on American Airlines or something like that with lower taxes and fees, you may get huge value. You're talking three, four, five cents a point, even more, um, depending on what you book. So really this sign up bonus um, has the potential to blow the others out of the water and be a very, very valuable sign up bonus or year one bonus on the uh, Chase Visa Signature Card, British Airways Visa Signature Card. So just a little bit of a wrap up. Um, the Discover It card definitely uh, will get you the most cash back for the least amount of money spent. Uh, the Chase Freedom Unlimited, it's kind of, um, plus point would be that the points are transferable so you can get extra value out of them by transferring them over to the Chase Sapphire cards. Um, the Alliant Visa Signature Card is definitely the best option if you're a big spender and you just want cash back because it's unlimited 3% for the first year and then it only goes down to 2.5 so you're still getting almost as much value the next year and the year after that. And if you just want sheer value, there's just the most amount of you know, money of value you can get. The Chase British Airways Visa Signature Card is going to be getting you the best value. It's about six cents in value per dollar spent in the first year um, if British Airways points are valued at 1.5 cents a piece, uh, but potentially way, way more than that. So that's a little bit of a wrap up of these year one bonus cards. Guys, if I've missed any, please leave me a comment. Tell me. Uh, I'm sure there's some obscure credit union providing an even better deal somewhere, okay? So I'd love to hear about that. Uh, as always, a lot of these are travel credit cards and cash 
cashback credit cards. So we'll put some of our favorite travel and cashback credit cards in the description below. Many of the ones we've talked about um, in this video will be on there. Uh, and that's from our partners at creditcards.com. These links do support our channel. Um, so if you like helping us out, uh, do have a look and browse the credit cards on that site. You can compare them all there. Um, it is an affiliate link. So if you want to see the advertiser disclosure, it's in the bottom of the description section. We'll see you next time, guys. Please subscribe if you're new. Bye-bye. Yeah.